All right, we're uh, back said, on, for Josh, episode. You don't have a scam I would be more impressed um, with no mask. Hashtag fake. Hashtag plan. Watching the humanist report. This person <laughs> says, "Take it off, please. You are inhaling your own CO2 at 8,000." The uh, mask controversy raises rages. I'm I'm in the camp of if you don't want to wear it, don't. But a private business has a right to ban you. And even a place like TriMet has a right to ban you, but nobody should force you. But you don't have to. You don't have to uh, go into the businesses that require it. It's just that simple. That's that's freedom there. They have a right to require wherever they want. Anyway, let's get the shit show on the road, because you only can listen to so much of this fucking politics shit before you want to kill yourself. Um, I was watching, listening to a little bit of this yesterday. There's really no uh, trimet stuff. Because this is awful. Horrible. Uh, I've already successfully sang all the rap songs that I know. Just one, yeah. I don't really know how to rap, but I try. It's and a, trying is everything. <laughs> oh. You guys hear that nature? That's All right, we don't have time for that. Sorry, Taylor. Okay, 668 is sleeping in the tracks. Hello, 668. It's your request to talk. How can I help? The Grand is being occupied and somebody's sleeping bag is hanging out into the road onto the track. Okay. And that's on Grand and where? 668. That was on Grand and where? That was on Grand and Belmont. All right, and so somebody's sleeping bag is in the track area, and that's the streetcar tracks, I'm assuming, right? Yes, that's correct. All right. 5770 follower, 20 minutes back. How many go? 5777 on PD Highway, heading east. Hey, 5777. About how many people did you pass up? Just one. Just one last All right, soul. thank you. Your follower's only 20 minutes back, so. Only 20 minutes back. Thank yeah. you. How would you like to sit there 20 minutes? And then maybe you'll be full, too. Non-functioning transit system. Sorry. I need to use the restroom, and everyone is denying me. <laughs> Mark 1501 Northwest 23rd Marshall. Hey, 1501, how can I help? Hey, I really need to use the restroom on and everywhere I'm asking is denying me. Is there any road along the way that I can't go? Um, let's see, you're heading back to Gateway. If you have to, just go to another terminal. Um, that's fine with us. Or, I don't know what you, what you could do is, um, when you turn off of Burnside right there, um, and you go to Salmon, you know where you take that left on Salmon, just continue on 18th, go around Collins Circle, and, um, we have those restrooms right there at 16th and Columbia over there. Good follow. Good luck, surf. 1269, non-functioning uh, 1269, I am on Barber at 60th. Hey, 1269, where did you start passing up at? Was it downtown? Uh, it was, I believe, when I was just leaving downtown. I think I picked up, the last person I could pick up was a, the last stop before you get to the one with the jump light when you turn on the barber. All right, I copy. I'll see what I can do. Thanks. Uh, 8.32. <laughs> uh, he's very entertaining. I, I'll say that for the guy. Uh, <laughs> 2069, woman demanding an out the bus and standing in my door. 2069. Oh, can I help you? I've got this woman on my bus. I've had problems with her in the past. She claims she's owner. She says I'm fired. She's demanding I get off the bus. Uh, I was standing up at my front door. just wouldn't sit down for about three and a half minutes. When I finally picked up the receiver to call you, she finally went and sat. Okay. The, the pastors do not have to sit. Um, we encourage the sitting, but they do not have to sit. As long as they're back behind the second yellow line. No, I understand that. That was the issue. She was right up here at my driver's bar at my cat. Yeah. All right, copy that. Um, That's a violation. 
And she's now back sitting or at least away from you. Yeah, currently. I'm telling you, folks, all you got to do is simple. I use it all the time. Pull the bus over, open the doors, turn off the bus, and put your head down on the steering wheel. That's it. And just wait. You don't have to call anybody, man. Just do that. And when everybody's quiet, you can ask, are we going to able to move this bus? Just, just don't do anything. You don't have to do anything. Okay, pull over, open the doors, turn off the bus, put your head down on the steering wheel. Try it. It works. Okay, you don't have to do anything else. Okay, more of the functional <laughs> camera system. Hey, 7247, how can I help? I got your ADA passant, as well as request talk. Yes, I'm overloaded, and I have to change uh, to drop off only. Uh, can you do that? And <laughs> uh, I had to pass up an ADA at uh, 82nd and start. Okay, I cannot put you in drop off only. No um, on your CAD, you need to go under, um, you need to put in a code of 14, and that will change your overhead sign to at capacity. What? Okay. The one percent are cheating us out of a quarter trillion dollars. You don't say. Obviously they are. It's the one percent. 7509, police to your location. And you can punch on time. 7509. 7509, I am being told, well, besides the fact that you seriously need to burn down some time, that uh, police are en route to your location. So until they make contact with you, um, please do not leave, and do not leave early. You're not due out of there for another five minutes. But uh, regardless, uh, I need you to hold for police. Once you're cleared with police, send me a rating for service. Okay, thank you. 4-4, trip getting on the bus. 404, go ahead. Yeah, I got a uh, passenger um, trip as a uh, getting off the bus. Okay, did they fall or just trip? Uh, they fell. Come on, take her off the key. And what was the location? Um, so I should know that. Um, I can't think of the location off the top of my head. Can't think of the location. Okay, did it just recently happen? Like the stop before? Yeah, it was like five minutes ago. Okay. You're supposed to call it in immediately, fuck faces. Why didn't you call it in when it happened? Uh, the person got up and seemed fine. Well, then you shouldn't call it in at all. SOP is, if somebody falls, it's called in right away. And part of the reason is so that we can document when it happens, where it happens. Listen, if you're going to call it in, call it in right away. Or just, or just forget it. Don't call it in at all. Just forget it. Hope that nothing happens. Most of the time it won't. 5768, Mr. Cobb speaking. Oh, uh, Block 5768, Mr. Cobb here at Brookwood and TV Highway. Yeah. All right, do you have the option to go left or right? He's lost. Um, he's Brookwood stuck. or both. Okay, maybe he's a roadblock scanner. 5270, uh, 185th at Bland. Yeah. Yeah, star. How can I help you? What you got today? Well, I had a gentleman, an older, an older gentleman that got on, that uh, had DCs stuck to his pants. Apparently, um, I cleaned the seat up, and it, but it's also on my floor. I just found out. <laughs> okay, copy that. Um, can you keep other passengers out of it? All right, that's the same old thing. Seventy-two thirty-six. Your leader got egg. Good. 7236 on Hey David, so your leader just got an egg thrown at his bus at 33rd in Killingsworth. Um, he can't see out his windshield, so supervisor is responding. You will not have a leader from 33rd to Max. I'm filling him from Max. Okay, thanks for the heads up from 33rd to Max. It might be a little, might have some passengers. 
passengers that have been waiting a little while, then that's basically what we're going to be facing. Yep. Yeah, and in that area, you might want to watch for a red Honda Accord. That's what threw the egg at him. Hopefully, their aim won't be as good as they. <laughs> that's funny. Part two. Hey, good night, uh, dispatch seven two three four. Um, um, car just hit me with an egg. Front windshield. Never had that happen. Okay, the car didn't hit you, but the egg did. Well, the driver in the car hit me with an egg. Okay, I yeah. copy. Um, are you able to get it cleared off enough to see? I'm gonna try. It just happened. Did you get a license plate number or anything? No, negative. So frustrating. Okay, um, we're letting the supervisor know. Do you have a description of the car? Uh, it looked like a red Honda Accord. Read this. This was good. This Karen Russell thing on uh, New York Times. Uh, okay, 704, guy acting strange. 704. 17th and 48. Hey, 704. Uh, you had a request to talk? How can we help? Hey, there's a fellow standing at the bus stop in front of Center Garage at 17th and Center. He's like kind of screaming and carrying on and acting strange. I noticed there was a road suit parked like half a block away. I don't know if maybe someone could check on him uh, before he gets on one of our buses just to make sure he's safe. Alright, copy. Center Garage stop going southbound. And. Can you have any sort of description of him for me? Uh, he's actually on the northbound side. Um, a white male, gray sweatpants, probably late 30s. Alright, copy that. Did you see any weapons? Was he threatening anyone or just kind of acting strange and yelling at nothing? No weapons, but he was pacing and walking into the street and yelling and uh, one of our passengers got there. I guess he's not invested in the technology sector. Mr. Turn, mine says stop. Hey, yeah, 7503, I haven't done this reroute uh, or this dead hit for like years. I missed my turn. I'm on Vaughn Street. I need to get back onto Columbia. Okay, well, you need to stop rolling and let you know where you're going so I can help you out. Well, I'm on the 77 route. I think this jumps on to Columbia. If you keep going and you go straight, You'll get on the Eon, and then you can turn left. So keep going straight till you come to a major intersection, which is... More pass up. 1706, Holgate, and 67 westbound. Hey, 1706, I got your pass up and your cancel. Thanks for sending those both. Um, about how many people did you have to pass up, and where was that? Yeah, I just passed up the one, and uh, I, didn't, I didn't remember the stop. It was the, uh, which, wherever I hit it. Well, one person is bad enough. 1501, can I leave my whole 23-minute layover to use a restroom? What does it say? 9104 man left cash on the fare box. 9104. 9104. I'm here at Sunset Transit uh, with the opt operator 6269 in bus 2923. Um, she said she had a passenger who got on um, and tried to use cash and just left it on the dash and she let them know we can't do that. Um, the individual took their money back but then when they got to Sunset here I guess while she was on her break, he came and put the money back 
on her fare box, the dollar twenty-five. Uh, just seeing what I should grab it or what. Stick it in the mirror. She's fifteen oh one. She's ready for service. So how much time does she take? Let's look. Block fifteen oh one, Washington. Uh, 1501, I got you ready for service, and I see you're not logged in right now. Is there anything I can help with? Uh, Let me see how much she took here. So she called over here. 1501. Okay, that was uh, 1056, and she's ready to go at 1113. So she took 13 and 4, 17. That's reasonable. She took 17 minutes. Reasonable to me. Some gal opened the back at arms and it won't move. Yeah, that's a 1704. I got some uh, gal that when I stopped at uh, arms and water, she went and opened up the back of the bus. I don't know what she did, but I can't get the bus to move now. <laughs> so, I don't know if she switched foot or something or what, but... Uh, <laughs> She's throwing stuff in front of the bus. She's, she's, she's just, uh, uh, I don't know, you need to get somebody out here. Okay, let me know if you move. I know you're at Silicon Way. I will send the supervisor over to you. And the bus won't go into gear. Is that what's going on? Uh, yeah, I can't get it to get into gear. Uh, tried everything so far. I don't, I have no idea if she hit, you know, switch something. It says, it says rear ignition, uh, speed switch, brakes, high exhaust temp. Those are the lights that are on. So sorry about that. High exhaust temp, speed, what? Okay, it says uh, there's one light that says rear ignition, one light that says, that says brakes, which I've got the parking brake on, and one light that says high exhaust temp. Okay, the exhaust temp's probably normal. It sounds like she might have switched your um, switch in the back to rear start. But if she's there, I don't want you to get out of the bus. So if it's not safe for you to get out of the bus, I will send the supervisor your way. Yeah, she's trying to shove throw stuff through the door right now, so um, I'm kind of stuck here right now. Okay. Another satisfied customer, I think. Okay, 934 is a lady harassing him. Hey, 934, you see that bus in front of you? Yeah, I guess it. All right, is the lady still around there harassing him? Yeah, go and see all here. It's not just walking on the tracks. Uh, she's just uh, wandering around. So I guess the 17 is set. I, I, I'm going to go around with him. Okay, is the 17 operator out of the bus? No, I don't need, I need you. Is the 17 operator out of his bus? Is he walking around the bus? He's inside now. He was, but now he's inside. Uh, all right, if you can get around, go ahead and go, please. Did you copy? Good, thank you. All right. <laughs> uh, tied up on the titty cum due to crazy lady. I want to, uh, mm -hmm. so it's just a Hey, I have 1704 bus 4055 tied up on Silicon Way at titty water. Come, titty come, get it right. There's titty some come. crazy person. They looked at the hatch open. He can't get the bus in gear now. He's got a um, rear something light, a speed switch light, a high exhaust temp light, and a brake light on. I think they might have flipped the switch in the back of the bus. The operator's not safe to get out at this point and check on anything. Is it going inbound or outbound? Okay, but the such situation was solved. Ninety-one, uh, two. Yeah, I got seventeen oh four. Taken care of. Yeah, she, whoever it is, uh, put in a rear ignition uh, switch position. Put it back on the front. Perfect. Thank you. Okay, so they, she did switch it to rear start. That's funny. I told her she needed to pull up the pants, and she got verbal. 936, at this Walmsy stop heading to Gresham. Oh, well, why did you tell her to pull up the hey, pants? Hey, 936, I got your cancel. Just want to check on you, make sure you're okay. 
Yeah, I had a white female, uh, very short, short blonde, shaggy hair, pockmarks all over her face, uh, dirty clothes, and her underwear was exposed. I told her she needed to pull up her pants over her underwear to ride, and she got verbal with me, but she got back off at that stop at the OHSU. All right. I'm glad she's not bothering you anymore. Um, just be careful. Um, unfortunately, you know, they can have their pants down. They can be naked. Um, nothing against it. As yeah, long stop as telling people how to act. You know, Jesus about it. Christ. Um, just you know, fucking, don't you people know how to behave? Just, what do you care? God damn. Uh, 7334, distressed female on board. Hey, 7334, are you currently at uh, 122 at Stark? Uh, yes. There's a lot of calls here, so we're going to keep All right. Uh, hold there for a moment. I'm going to ask you a question. You can answer yes or no. Uh, do you have uh, a distressed female on board, uh, someone that might be suicidally inclined? Not that I know of right now. <laughs> All right. 911 thinks there might be someone on your bus, um, and they would like you to hold at that stop. So if we're going to pull into, I think it's just across the start at uh, Oak. Does that sound right? Yes, we don't care if you're homeless. We don't care if you're hungry. Just you cannot kill yourself. Seventy-four, thirty-four had a bag stolen. Oh, jeez. Hang on, there's a lot going on. Can you make contact with seventy-three thirty or seventy-four thirty-four? He had his license or his bag stolen. Right. He called station agent. Can you take care of that? I'm gonna send somebody to fill it. She's sending out an operator. Um, to take him back to the garage, I guess, and then the operator to take over the run. Uh, you just said have that on the lift. Uh, can you repeat? I was going to offer to take your air until S1 is up. All right, I'll hold for just a second if you want. Um, 7434, somebody needs to make contact with. His bag was stolen and he called station agent. If somebody could do that, he's acid. And I'll send a supervisor to him and then we need to get a fill on it. So I can do that if you can start acid and maybe call the operator to start the information. All right, 7434, I'll give him a call. Thanks. Thank you. Mm -hmm. 7343, uh, we've reported that someone stole a bag from you, is that correct? Yeah, my uh, fanny pack that has all my license, my credit card, I don't see everything a fanny pack. is in it, and it is now gone. All right, no license on you right now. Uh, all right, in that case, just go ahead and uh, tie it up where you are. Uh, we'll have a supervisor come and meet with you, and uh, they'll do a report. Uh, I'll start an acid, and I'll send uh, some numbers. They have copies of all this documentation, so why is it so important to have the physical license? Why, why does it even matter anymore? You're tied for your report as well, and uh, <sighs> we'll get your run uh, filled by extra service. So just hold there for a supervisor. It doesn't sound like your phone at all, we'll so we'll get you taken care of. Uh, we'll be clear at 1255. Yeah. It's a wonderful world we live in. Oh, wait a minute. What? Um, I can't get a hold of the other supervisor. Can you head to uh, 1-8? Oh, gosh, let me get back over here. Sorry. Powell 182. I have 7434 tied up. That's 3908. Um, they can't find their bag anywhere. They believe it was stolen and their ID is in it, so they can't drive. Supervisor is going to send out an operator, two operators, hopefully, one with. Okay, sleeper on 867. 867 at Griffin Market. 867. Uh, yeah, sleeper check. What's going on there? There is a homeless man in a wheelchair who has been at Fifth and Morrison uh, for about six or seven hours now. And I was wondering whether or not we could get a welfare check on him. Hi, copy. Uh, Fifth and Morrison, homeless man in a wheelchair. Any more description there? Uh, he's either asleep or passed out. Most of the time I've gone by and he has a bag on the back of his chair. Other than that, uh, no, I don't have a good physical description of him, but he'll still be there, I imagine, when someone comes by. All right, and did you see... All right, save them all. 
All Merlot buses get fumigated every night. 8869. 8869. I put in a call to the uh, Merlot shop supervisor. They're doing some research now on that bus to see what's recently uh, been done to it. Uh, just for your information, all Merlot buses get fumigated every night. Um, do you have any passengers on the bus? Yes, three. Okay, and are any of them experiencing any issues? Well, you know, just heavy breathing, and it's just in my throat and nose. I was in the next bus over, uh, and it did not smell the same way, so I don't think they were treated equally. But that's just my observation from being on each bus. All buses are not created equal. Okay. And uh, do we have the vehicle shut down, HVAC off? No, the, the, the vehicle is on. And I had the, I had the fan on, but then I thought, this isn't smelling any better. I think maybe it's the same air being recycled in my face, which is not good. If it's fresh air, then that is helpful. So that's why I want to know if it's recycled air coming out of the driver's booster fan or recycled air. That's why I asked that, that question. Get that out of here. Yeah, it is recycled air. It goes oh through the God. HVAC system, which is filtered and is supposed to be safe. But if you're smelling something odd, then something else could be going on. Um, I got the mechanic on the other line. What I want you to do is turn off the vehicle and uh, evacuate the bus. But keep within earshot of the radio because I'll be calling you back. Okay, vehicle is shut. Evacuate. Drunk on 79. 79.35. Hey, Jeff, it's Lisa. I got your uh, customer contact. What's going on? Extremely intoxicated. And uh, I just got him to take a seat, hopefully. So if that works, then I can drive the bus. All right. Let me know if anything changes, okay? Um, just okay. Uh, not cooperating. 79.35. Hey, Jeff, he's not cooperating? No, yeah. Okay, I have my supervisor on his way to an accident. Um, I'll have to have you tied up to call police to have him removed um, if that's what you would like me to do. Yeah, I need to do something. I can't move the bus. So. <laughs> okay, I have you a killing. All right. Uh... 7935. 7935, go ahead. Well, I got the person in the seat. Do you want me to continue on? Okay, yeah, absolutely. If uh, he can stay seated, we can roll. I'll let you know if there are any changes. Thank you. As we know, okay. it was a problem. 2048, pass up. 2048, go ahead. Uh, yeah, I just had to uh, pass up some um, passengers back on. Oh gosh, I don't know what stop that was. Um, I'm at 111th now, so the stop before that. And um, I was just calling to see, is there, is there another 20 coming along after me, or am I the last one heading up this way? Uh, there should be another one in about 15, 16 minutes or so. Yeah, as a matter of fact, the last bus leaves Beaverton at 11.11 and arrives at Gresham at 12.41. All right, awesome. Copy that. Thank you, Bert. Passed up seven people. 3302. 3302, Southeast Wickle Offlin and Oak Grove. 3302, go ahead. Yeah, I just passed up about seven people at Oak Grove. Um, it was full up. Okay, I copy. I'll do what I can do. Okay. Non-functioning, 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 more. Hey, 7236, how many people have you had to pass up? Okay, so we're looking at from Foster North? Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to remember what the first one was. I know I had, I had a, uh, I had a second group, I had one group of young men, team, team, team boys get on, there was six, and then another group to go on, it was like eight, and I already had five passengers. So at one point I was up to 20, I think I'm at 16 or 17 right now, Jeez. passengers on board. All right, well, as long as you're aware that you're, you're 
over capacity as it is. So, um, we'll see. It's not a functioning fucking transit system. Okay, and here's more. Hey, 7236, how many people have you had to pass up? Okay, so we're looking at from Foster North. Yeah, yeah. Just, just give him the Sandy video. Well, I fucked it up. All right, where's that Sandy video, man? There it is. Let's play it. That's what you are. One and the same. How long have you been uh, living here on Sandy? Oh, since I was four. <laughs> 1241 Northeast Sandy and 64th inbound. Yeah, I just wanted to let you know, make you aware that I have a passenger who uh, says that he cannot wear a mask due to a uh, medical condition. Okay. Well, I appreciate you letting us know. And, you know, the rest of the passengers on your bus see that you've made it. I conscientious effort to inform the passenger and hope all of goes well. Okay, sounds good. You have a good night. You look well. 2153. What a nightmare. What a fucking nightmare. 57 passengers screaming to get out. 5775 outbound. We'll let her out. Currently on the near side of Brooklyn at TV Highway. How can I help you? How many? Uh, passenger who got rather disturbed over waiting out the traffic here at Brookwood demanded to be let out. I made sure there was no traffic before opening the door. I opened the door because he was screaming and banging on the door. Okay. Well, you know, TriMet doesn't take prisoners, so if somebody wants off the bus that bad, we just gotta have to, we just gotta open the doors. Absolutely. Other operators may want to be aware of this individual. Black t-shirt, black pants, red cap, white male. No. Okay, accident synopsis. Go ahead. So, um, the TriMet lift was heading eastbound oh, lift. on TV Highway. He had a green light. Uh, there were cars on the opposite direction. They had a flashing yellow to make a left turn. A black Jedi, I spoke with the owner. He made a left. He never saw the vehicle one climate lift coming. He made contact with uh, vehicle one rear left, causes uh, vehicle one to land on the side and uh, oh, wow. and skip for about like 30 feet. Both drivers are okay. Uh, driver of vehicle one is being transported on Metro West 63 to Kaiser West. Uh, both cars are not drivable, so that will be a test, I guess, uh, for TriMet, but I don't know if this is going to be the case for uh, the lift. Uh, vehicle one driver will be transported, and it would be a test under our consideration. I'll pass along the lift dispatch, and we're still waiting on an acid number. And, um, <laughs> okay, so what, there's another, there's another, uh, one here about this. I'm going to get that expedited. But set vehicle one is on the side, like, flipped over, wheels up. Is that correct? And you wonder why that was all broken up. I didn't stop there at all. Vehicle one, you said there was damage on the side. Is the vehicle actually laying on the side of the vehicle? The wheels are not touching the ground, but they're off to the side. And you wonder why I still could not understand what you say. Can I call you upstairs? I copy. We'll get a phone call. Thank you. Keep it up there, but we already heard it. Okay, Scanner Star. 5270, Boy, Farmington Road at Hawkins. How can I help you? 
Well, I was kind of hoping that there'd be a road supervisor out there that could take a look at my right knee. It's vibrating an awful lot. Um, the road's pretty rough on this particular route, um, and it makes it a little bit hard. Okay, have you uh, gone out there and manually, you know, grabbed it and looked at it to see if it's going to fall off? No, but I will do that at my Farmington stop where I can... Okay, uh, line 20 hits the bus in the yard. Okay, well, I'm probably closer than five, so I'll head there. It'll be a while. All right. Um, there's no disabling damage to the bus that is scheduled to pull out right now. If you want, I can roll it and maybe check the other bus later. I'm not sure how you want to do that or how we can do that. Do we have a lead on duty? Just drive. Yeah, copy that. 9911. 9911, yeah, I'd rather I'm whole. Okay, copy that. All right, 917. So the bus you're going to be responding to is block 2002, vehicle 3565. Looks like they're about mid-span in the yard. I'm not sure exactly what track they're on. And the bus they made contact with is vehicle 3005. 3005 has significant damage. Right. The bus that was being driven is, is okay, according to the operator. Okay. Uh, you might call the spotter on that, because that other bus might be going out, and they'll oh, have yeah. to rearrange. But I would definitely call the spotter or maintenance or someone to go out there. But I'll be there when I can. Copy that. Yeah, for that's my next call. All right, loud verbal line six. Six not two, go ahead. Yeah, I reached out earlier about a uh, loud verbal, and I believe I spoke with you, but it's uh, continuing, and both those riders are uh, still on the bus and um, seem to continue to escalate. All right. Have you been to a stop and just open your doors and see if things would settle down? Let them know you can't continue to drive that way. It either needs to quiet down or somebody needs to be bored. You got it. Thank you. Well, yeah, you got to do all that before you call them for Christ's sake. Police are on the scenes, and the scenes got off. 7509. 7509. I'm being told police are on scene. Are you clear of them yet? Yeah, I, um, I talked to um, one of the officers, and he was going to um, find out something about what might happen on the map. I had some teenagers get on my bus, but then they got off. So, and they, he told me I'm clear to go, so I was getting ready to call you. All right, go ahead and uh, drop off to Deacon and then OK. Let's see if we can get you back on track. And uh, those teenagers are suspected of having assaulted a passenger on the map. Thank you. Go on, 1520. Fuck. Assaults everywhere. Oh my god. Alright, next. Alright, next. Alright, where are we? Let me see. Okay. Black man shaking his fist on TV highway. I sure so, Teddy. Uh, I got a request to talk. What's up? Yeah, I was uh, coming back to BTC on TV highway and on uh, the corner of uh, 170th and TV highway, there's a uh, black male, about 5'10", kind of heavy set, and he's acting really erratically, shaking his fist at customers as they go by the, the road. Uh, 170th TV, eastbound, okay. If I got a supervisor in the area, I'll have him do a drive-by. Thank you, he's on the south. Fuck. Lift, lift brake and ride confusion? Uh, 317. This is Route 317. Hey, 317. So I see your brake uh, performed at 309. Um, did you take your brake, actually? I have these people on my bus. I need to have this ride put back on my bus. I need to have directions to get to the, my destination. <laughs> oh, no, I did update that. The ride is back on your bus. Um, initials TB2699. 
Um, you should see that update in just a moment because I just literally just added it to your manifest now. Um, but you did take your break because I just see um, an arrival. I, I, I don't see that it was performed, that you arrived at 309. Oh, my God. Look, I have to go. <laughs> um, if you could actually just be helpful and uh, communicate with me, that would be um, the best thing. Are you still there? Yes, I'm still here. If you can be helpful and communicate with me, um, that would be the best thing, please. For me right now, is that I need directions to my drop-off. Uh, so I would like to have put on my bus, and I'm certainly not trying not to communicate with you. Okay, well, we can't talk at the same time. Every time I let go of the radio, I hear you talking. So please let, we can finish talking, and then we can let the other person talk, okay? <laughs> Okay. So, are you have two six nine nine on the bus, and you need the drop off location, correct? I need the uh, drop off location, please. Oh, God, Jesus! Operator calling on on a disposed. Seventy seven zero two. Seventy seven zero two. We have your twenty first in Gleason, and you had a report hazard. Where was that, and what was that? Uh, there is a, a 21st in Lovejoy. There is a, I believe, homeless guy uh, in a van blocking the entire stop. As soon as I pulled up behind me, his hand comes up, flips me off, screams about how he's not moving for no one. Um, I can't drop anyone off or pick anyone up there. Well, you go, do that, you go by him or in front of him. I mean, that's not a problem. You don't have to use the exact stop. Just Go buy him or go in front of him. That's uh, 21st and Lovejoy, person in a van. Do you have to get right, a... Well, that's not my... That's your problem. Gentlemen, plugging something. Oh, my... Not that. Oh, my God. 1236 at Park Road Train Center. How can I help you? Hey, I just saw a gentleman plug something into one of the buildings. Uh, he definitely doesn't work for Um, What do you think sent supervisor down here to check out what it is? He reached through... Uh, that metal gate we have on the non-layover side, the park goes, uh, I don't know what he plugged in, but it's still plugged in. Probably a cell phone, you idiot. I'm sorry, I a couple of people talking to me on behalf of that. So what's the problem with something being plugged in? Uh, some gentleman reached through the, uh, oh god, you know the little gate we have blocking the HVAC unit? He reached through there and plugged something in. Uh, Wanted person on 82nd. I could not copy what you said. Can you please repeat? I'm on 82nd. I just pulled drove through Johnson Creek. I have a uh, mail suspect that might have ran, that might have uh, stole something and got on the bus. But I can't tell if the police officer was telling you they got on my bus or if there's another car that they're trying to get a, get a hold of. Um, okay, I don't know anything about a suspect. This is a message that was out to the 72s, or how do you know this person is a suspect? <laughs> he ran in front of the, um, a couple of cars in front of me at the stop site and got on the stop that was right there at the corner. And there was a security or a police officer at the other site just um, buying information with another person and was pointing at somebody, but not sure if it was me. <laughs> Scanner Star again. 5270, 185th at Rock Creek Road. You are keeping me busy today. How can I help you? Well, she finally got off, um, but she wanted to ride up to the college, and I told her I wasn't going to do that for her. So she told me I was rude and that uh, that is not the right thing to do, have her get off my bus when I have to turn around. So, I'm sure I'm getting a custom complaint there, but I really do need somebody to look at this mirror. Um, it's giving me motion sickness, is what it... Yeah, well, he, he's right about that. You need to have equipment that works, okay? Hey, 67, we're in Um, so the streetcar was up on 7th that got hit. And it looks like it very well might end up having seven blocks uh, with the emergency vehicles. So maybe reroute it to the next block up. I got through, but I don't know what's going to happen next. So. 
Okay, so the actor is actually a seventh, not oh. not grand. Okay, so is it blocking both ways still? Yes, unfortunately. Unless this could squeeze past, but. Nine one zero seven update. Okay, I'm on green now. Go ahead. All right, so eight six seven. Um, because they took this little V-rail, they're on seventh now. They say the involved streetcar is actually on seventh. <clears throat> okay, where are we here? Okay, where are we? All right. Ninety one zero uh, seven. Nine one zero seven. Okay, I'm here. Seventh in Multnomah. Yes, streetcars involved. Fires on scene. Their supervisors are here, and uh, we are blocked. Definitely eastbound. Westbound. The buses could probably get by, but why don't we send them on tonight over to Broad? Okay. Streetcar waiting for tow. 9107. Here at 7th and Multnomah, the westbound can go back to regular. However, the eastbound is blocked. The train has since moved on. We're just waiting for a tow. But the westbound can go back to regular. All right, copy. At 1624. 702, center garage, ready for service. I'm going to do stand by a sec. Okay. Uh, pass up. This is 7703 at Hall of the 58th Day School of Stroud Rail. Hey, 7703. I got your pass up overload and then are ready for oh, service. Yeah. Uh, do you mean if you have to get a cancel pass up overload and you're able to pick up people again? <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what I meant to hear. Sorry about that. All right, copy, no problem. Uh, so how many people were there, and where did you have to leave them? Oh, it wasn't anybody. I just put it in advance just in case I had to pick anybody else up on the next two stops. But, uh, That's not the way you do it, idiot. 14, 1240 Biohazard. 1240 at uh, Tiger Transit. 1240, go ahead. I'm giving you guys a heads up. There's a blondish gal here, about 45, 50, black sweatshirt gray shorts and she has totally soiled herself trying to get on the bus. She says she's just going to wait for the next one and just got off of one. So I thought I'd give you a heads up. Caucasian, blonde, and how old? Half uh, 40s-ish, I'm guessing. Uh, Die in a goddamn ditch. Sandy. See what happens. 7105 Northeast 57 Southbound at uh, Hancock now. Uh, report about the, uh, the stop at Sandy, the near side stop Southbound at Sandy. Looks like there used to be a stop there. There is still a bench there. There is not a stop listed on the CAD and no pole that that bench is deceiving. Someone's going to get a sip about it. I already cut out a little bit there at the beginning. Uh, can you be the location that we're talking about again? Yeah, 57 southbound, the near side stop at Sandy. So it's the northwest corner of the intersection of 57 and Sandy. Looks like we used to have a stop there. There's still a bench there. There's no pole and it's not listed on the cab. Copy that, 57 and Sandy. Uh, I'll check the city area supervisor, see what their plans are for. Seen that removed if it has been in fact. Fuck is that? You cannot have six crossings. Alrighty, protesters. Block twelve thirty seven okay. location Coach and Martin Luther King. She's having a call um, for they block that Burnside Bridge. They uh, they are blocking right now. Oh. <laughs> Operator fell out of the seat and got hurt. Uh, 17th and Claiborne, hard stop, and we had an operator fall out of the seat. He was a passenger, right? That's from it is, and apparently there was a blow to the head, and there's a blood. And medical is on route. Okay, and uh, the 8th and 77th can go back to regular as well, and I'm heading that way. Whoops. 
okay. Um, so he's hurt. That's nice. Corona in his hand. I kick him off. I thought they. I, I thought they did. Thirty-five, sixty-seven at Portsmouth and Willamette. Hey, John. It's Lisa. I got your request to talk. How can I help you? Hey, so I just had to kick off a guy off my bus. He was drinking. He had an open container of alcohol with Corona in his hand. He had passed out. Um, he's still walking around. I think he's still looking at board another bus. He still has alcohol on him, so he's probably still looking to do it. Um, I can give you a description if you want. <laughs> Waiting for it, too. Okay, well... I'll leave 7th and Multnomah. They're still waiting for a tow. I don't know why it's taking so long, but uh, I'll uh, go down there and take a look. Okay, we only got 10 more minutes. We're not going to be able to finish Thank you, 105. I'm at the Rosa uh, I, I Maybe I can help 9107. So what's going on, Coach? We're not going to be able to finish his calls. Three, four, five, six, all coming in at once. Looks like a fucking alien. Yeah, this is 7502. I'm uh, 42nd Shaver going north. There were three guys back there wanting to get three bicycles on the bus. They asked me if I could put one in the bus, and I told them no. They're back there at uh, Sandy Boulevard. That's what was happening. Yeah, I got to cancel, but I figured I'd better follow up anyway. Okay, thank you. And you are absolutely. <laughs> Okay, are they going to be transport? 7005, hey, um, I'm hoping you can help me out with some information. The person that was injured, can you get a batch number? Okay, and um, does it look like there's going to be a transport of the medical there yet? Are they going to be transported? That's a drug test. Yeah. Um, do you know if he was on his way to um, a relief or finished with a relief? All right, I copy. So, um, do you have the AMR number, the ambulance number? Uh, there isn't one here yet. It looks like there's a fire truck thing pulling up. Okay. If he is transported, can you try to get the ambulance number and a possible destination? Yes, I will once they get here. Um, the fire truck doesn't have a number on it, but once uh, ambulance comes, I'll get there. That's a twelve. People. Yeah, Mark 1234, I've uh, had to um, skip up well over 12 people. I'm about to do it again. I work for it. Next bus in five minutes. And nobody's happy about it, of course, so um, maybe you can get a sweeper. All right, thanks. All right, I will see if we can get somebody up there to help you at 1721. Okay. He says, oh, everything's fine. We're fine out here. Nobody's been passed up on my route. Meanwhile, hundreds of people are passed up. 236, I missed a bus stop on the mall. 236 uh, on Division at 12 Eastbound. 236, go ahead. Just to let you know, when I was on 5th, I missed um, Madison, so I went on Market whereby missing a couple of bus stops. All right, but you know what you did and it was... Fail. Who cares? They'll miss the bus. Who cares? 707, here's the um, accident synopsis. Is that right, 343? That's AMR 343. We don't know where yet. But anyway, the scenario goes, uh, vehicle one was southbound on 17th, just short of Claiborne. And at Claiborne, they have those... Uh, Islands in the middle that allow people to cross the street safe, well, well, somewhat safely. Anyway, according to the operator, he was traveling southbound. Um, he saw a young adult on the left side looking like he was going to cross, but just standing there. And uh, as the operator was holding down, the kid just darted right in front of him, didn't even look his way, just ran right in front of them, and the operator had to anchor the bus. Well, I'll, uh, when, he anchored the, when he anchored the bus, the, the only person on the bus besides himself was an operator, and uh, he hit his head on one of the stanchion bars. It looked like it was right above his right eye. 
and he's breathing pretty good. He's going to be transported. And he was in Milwaukee for a while, so you might spit it that one. And it looks like it's going to be a test. Uh, southbound 70 coming, so I'm going to get him by, then I'll let you know. Either way, we're set up to handle it. Just Uh, I asked him to call, put on a mask. He called me a motherfucker, and he won't get off. 5271 tied up at Lombard and Broadway, uh, eastbound. 5271, I got your law verbal. What's up? I asked somebody, uh, I asked somebody politely to, uh, put on the mask, and they, they refused and called me a motherfucker, and now, uh, I asked him to get off the bus, and he was refu refusing. Uh, this bus is not safe to operate with him on it. Well, last I heard, we are informers, not enforcers. Um, I haven't been told that that policy has changed, and if uh, you've requested and offered them that mask and they've adamantly refused, I've not been told that you can refuse service. Oh, this bus is not safe to drive with him on it, and I'm not going to be moving this bus until he is off it, or there's a supervisor here to say otherwise. Oh, well, last I checked, I am a supervisor, but uh, <laughs> let me call a manager and I'll get back to you. Yeah, I am asking for a road supervisor. Copy. 1728. He'll be called into the office. Uh oh. <laughs> He'll be getting in to have some trouble. Uh, 17 Claiborne, go ahead. Did we ever get a destination for the transport? No, but I'm walking back. And also, I parked the bus on 17th, far side Claiborne. The ambulance was blocking my turn, so I just moved it ahead. Anyway, I'll walk up to him and find out. All right, copy that. Yeah, we have his uh, significant other on the phone. Okay, let's see if they'll talk to me. Okay. Okay. Tied up. Rule situation violation. If you give us a call, we'll give you the details. 908. 91 I'm on my way real quick. We have 52 train 71. Keep it off the phone. Keep it off the radio because we're listening. On Southwest Lombard, just south of Look. Canyon Road. Um, basically, rule violation situation. If you can give us a call, we'll give you the details. Yeah, that, that driver is in trouble. Oh, we got there, 91 boy. 8, I'm going to wait real quick. We have 52 out. train 71, vehicle 2933 tied up oh, hmm. on southwest Lombard, just south of Canyon Road. Um, <laughs> basically, rule violation situation. If you can give us a call, we'll give you the details. He's fucked. I don't see manager. Okay. 9107. 9107. Okay, uh, they're going to Emmanuel, AMR343 to Emmanuel, and mileage for the transport is 67. Individual got 5270. Oh, here it is. Okay, here's part two. 5271, the individual is now off the bus and I am departing. It is now safe to operate. Well. Okay, I noticed you don't have a block. Um, you called in just your bus number. Did you get logged off? Oh, or have you filled? That's, that's what it is. Okay, yeah, there was an individual. He did not particularly care for me asking politely to take off his mask. And then he put it on himself. I mean, I did not, I did not demand that he put it on. And, but he ended up calling me a motherfucker. And yeah. I did not tolerate that. Yes, and I do he not got tolerate off eventually. that. I do not tolerate that. I okay. am the bus driver. Um, hang on a second. And anybody that dares call me right, a motherfucker can get out this fucking bus!